Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the demo to a game called Madison. Now, in Madison I'll be playing a character called Luca, and Luca, I think, is being forced by a demon, a demon called Madison, to undergo a horrifying ritual that was started years ago, and I think this demon is going to force me to do some really horrible things. It looks really, really interesting, but as you can see, this is an early development demo. Things are subject to change, but if you do want to play this in its current state, you can. It's absolutely free, and to do that, you just need to follow the link down below in the description. Really hope you enjoy it. Let's uh, let's press any key. Okay, we're in. And um, already, I think this may have been inspired by games like PT. It's got that sort of look. Okay, uh, let's see. Do I go with normal mode or hard mode? Do I jump into the deep end? I guess I could. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do it. Why not? Okay, I guess I'm pretty slender. I'm managing to squeeze through here. Oh, a little bit tighter up here, it looks like. I don't know if I have a flashlight or anything like that. Uh, F, L, you know, all the common keys aren't working. Hang on. What's that over there? Oh, they're nails. I thought I was, like, seeing a syringe in that wood, though, but have a look at this. Uh, what, what's use? Left click, apparently. Okay, it's... A key? We've already found a key, and it's to the study, it looks like. And it looks like we can just have a look at everything in, in great detail. That's quite nice. I always like that. Oh, okay, we do have an inventory. Alright, well, here we go. So there's the, the study key, as it says. And that's it. That's all we got at the moment. We came in with nothing. And uh, we'll probably leave with nothing, if we leave at all. Right. Okay, uh, I, I, hmm. Jumping, crouching, doesn't seem to be a thing. I don't think we can get these boards out of the way, to be honest. And I don't know what's flickering in there. It's some light or TV, maybe? I don't know. Let's head back, though. Let's go back to the uh, the normal, the regular corridor and keep exploring. Uh, this is all on the Unity engine, by the way. And, you know, I'm sure you'll agree that this looks pretty damn good. Okay. Alright, well, uh, let's continue. What about this door? Ah! keep hearing random sound effects. <laughs> yeah, what about this door? It seems to be locked. And it is. Um, okay, well, maybe this is the study. Is it the study? There's nothing to indicate that it is, but let's try it out. Uh, there you go. What is it? Left click? Oh no, that examines the key again. I uh, don't really want to do that, I don't think. Um, maybe the eye is going to be important? Maybe that four is going to be important? just keep hearing odd things. <laughs> very, very strange. Yeah, uh, maybe this isn't the study. Yeah, I can't seem to use the key. I don't know exactly how you, you'd do that. Right, okay. Very detailed photographs over here. Cool. Very cool. And some nice plates as well. Always nice. Whoa. Well, I wasn't there before, was it? What the hell is that? Looks like something on a stand. Uh, I'll check that out in a moment, I think. I'll keep an eye on it, though. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't move. Okay. We. Oh, no, we do have something down here. Okay. Um, right. Uh, let's see. It's kind of hard to see. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Maxwell, this is... Oh, shook. I'm just going to drop that. Oh, the sound effects in this game are good. I thought the door was going to be open or... Well, I don't know. Let's try it again. <laughs> Second time lucky, maybe. Uh, this is to notify you that your child... Oh, here we go. Oh, we can zoom in. That's nice. Yeah, your child, Luca Maxwell, is hereby expelled from uh, the secondary school, West Disc Secondary School, after several suspensions, and he will no longer be welcomed at the institution. The situation is now dangerous for our students and us. We will not tolerate this kind of behavior here. Luca has experienced some sort of sudden change a few weeks ago, and we cannot control him. He is not himself. He cannot be separated from that camera he carries around his neck, and the school psychologist is informed uh, that he confessed the camera whispers things that only he can hear. There is nothing else we can do under these circumstances, namely disturbing drawings, self-inflicted wounds made with school supplies, punching and kicking, swearing, and even biting his classmates. 
We want to let you know that the family of the boy who was stabbed went to the police station this morning to press charges against your child. We suggest you go to a specialist for help since Luca is out of control. There is something wrong with the boy, and he is not the Luca we once knew. Right. A little bit of uh, my backstory, a little bit about me. Uh, it seems I had trouble in school. There's a, there's a camera that whispers things. That's news to me. <laughs> okay, hang on, what was this? Something over here? Oh, the, the cup, the mug? Sure, all right. Uh, do I add that to the inventory or I don't think so? No, I think I'm just examining things. Fair enough. All right, looks like, oh, hang on. Oh, okay, so that's the icon that you need to look for if you want to use an item. So yeah, I guess the study isn't that room over there. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't have anything right now, so it's, it's obviously not the key I need to put on the wall. Um, I guess a frame's missing, or a large plate. Yeah, it's a frame, a photo, painting maybe, I don't know. What's this? Oh, polar... Oh, oh, okay. Point, shoot, print, and check. Probably not something I want to be dabbling with, considering what I just read, but uh, yeah, sure, open it up, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So they're just sort of blank ones, are they? Just grab ten of them? Sure. And over here, just... <sighs> just some letters and stuff, okay. Uh, well, we've sort of reached a dead end, I think, unless there's something down here in the darkness. Let's go check out what this is. Okay, I was expecting to see something then, I've got to be honest. Right, uh, we can use this. Fuck! Alright. Okay, nothing behind me. So, what's the deal with the clock? What do I need to do? Open it up? I oh shit. Where's that coming from? Oh, we see. Oh, we click and drag doors and stuff like that, do we? That's nice. All physics-based. Uh, might be coming from over here. That's locked, thankfully. It's... Ah! God damn it! Wait. No, it isn't. <laughs> Why did I have to say that? Okay, go on then. Oh, hi there. Wait. Is that the frame that was missing over the- Way! Hang on. Oh, come on! <laughs> right, well, it must be the demon at work, Madison. Speaking of which... Is, uh... Is this Madison, or is this someone possessed by Madison? Did that chair just turn? What is that, anyway? My- my birthday present? Oh, but Brilliant. How did it get here? I don't know. I guess we should probably open the box, right? Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's a camera! The one that whispers to me? I opened it up. Right, yep. Oh, it looks a little bit damaged already, unfortunately. I guess this is, you know, second, third hand. But yeah, uh, grab it. And we have camera mode now, okay. Oh, cool. That's a nice filter, a nice effect. All right, fair enough. Um, let's see. It looks like there's some things over here. Grandpa was just like Dad. Albert Maxwell, 1968, eh? That was Grandpa. What's going on over there? That little door. Reminds me of the little door from Home Sweet Home, actually. Oh, okay, we've got a combination lock. Interesting. All right, well, uh, try, try pass? Sure. How do we, uh... Oh, with the mouse wheel. We just sort of scroll through it. That's a good way of doing it, actually. Could it be 1968, by any chance? That was the, the year I just saw. I don't know where it needs to, to be. I guess there somewhere, so let's see. Uh, 1968? No? No? Okay. Uh, well, there you go. That's, uh... That's a failure, unfortunately. Looks like we got some more of these. Okay, open them up. Another ten. Right. Okay, well, let's let's take a picture, I guess. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, is that door? 
Alright, why the hell is it so dark out there? That's ridiculous. Alright. Is there anything else in here? Oh yeah, some more Polaroids actually. Yeah, I'll grab another tent. I guess we're going to be doing a lot of photography in this game. So many pictures of this woman. Look at this. Can I... Alright, oh, I can have a look at it. Ah. Oh, I see. It's the camera, isn't it? D did you start this ritual that I now have to continue? I suppose so. Let's grab it. That obviously needs to go... Whoa! Whoa, that needs to go on the wall. What in the hell? Alright. The New York American. Is that all the same article? I think it might be. Fair enough. Alright, I think that's pretty much... Ah, no it's not! <laughs> Network news? Go on then. In local news, the remaining belongings in the Hale family estate were finally auctioned, bringing in nearly three million dollars. Among the auction items were paintings by Picasso, as well as some gold and diamond jewelry. Most noteworthy was Miss Hell's precious instant camera, which has finally found a new owner. <laughs> it's been 30 years since the notorious multiple murders, and in spite of numerous auctions of the family assets, no one had previously purchased her camera. For viewers unfamiliar with the story, Madison Hill killed her own family during a witchcraft ceremony. She was then fatally shot in the stomach by a police officer who had caught her in the act. And now for the weather. <laughs> By the way, if you didn't know about that story, let me give you a quick rundown. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, there you go. There's the backstory, I suppose. Um, still very dark out here. I suppose the camera's meant to remedy that, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> View the photo? Right? Shake. Oh, really? Oh, you actually you have to shake it like a proper Polaroid. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Uh, center it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's really cool. Um, yeah, back. Oh, I like that. I really like that. And you know what? I didn't even notice the noose before. Holy shit. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Well, let's see. Let's let's put the, the frame where it should be. Somewhere over here, right? Ah, fuck. All right. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? Is that the clock again? Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna take a photo of this. This is really good. Okay. Okay, it's still there, it's still in the background. Let's give it a shake, give it a shake, go on. <laughs> oh, it, it is what it looks like. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna forget about it, I'm gonna go in this direction, I think. Hang on. Okay. Thankfully, there's nothing horrifying in front of me. Unless... Nope, it's as it's meant to look. That's a really, really cool part of the game, I think. Right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why can't we do it? Maybe, we'll, maybe we don't want to do it in the dark. Oh, shit. Go on, then. I'll, I'll pull the sheet off this thing again. Nothing there. Oh, shit. Anything? Anything on the photo? Come on. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Um. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. What about the the corridor over here to my right? God, I'm having to hug the wall. Yeah, maybe if we go to the far end and take a photo, we can... I don't know. Maybe get around the board somehow or see something? Alright, I, I guess we can't... You know, pull out our camera whenever we want. I can't seem to do it now because I'm too occupied with squeezing through. But here we are. Right. Oh, shit. Anything? And presumably, I'm, you know, I'm going to see things in the photo that I wouldn't otherwise see. Uh, I don't think so. Not this time, no. Right. Jesus. <laughs> Hopefully you can see something in this video. It's not just a completely black screen. Might see a couple of wooden boards and pipes. 
don't know, man. This is kind of ridiculous, though. Well, the light's flickering. I suppose that's a start, right? In here again? I don't know. I, I I get the feeling that I should just be, you know, walking through the area again and again, looking for subtle changes, slight differences. Oh, I didn't notice the Polaroids all around here as well, man. I, uh, I usually have an eye for details, not today. Right, we we need to get we need to get the frame on the wall, don't we? Oh, the lights are on now. Here we go then. Okay, um, there it is. I might want to look around for something else first. Yeah. Okay, it's not going to work on its own. Right. Ah. <laughs> Wait, you're back now. Wait, hang on. That's still on the floor. So <laughs> there's another one. All right. Maybe we have an, in uh, an infinite supply of them. Jesus. This is pretty terrifying. Not much has not much has happened. What's going on here? Oh, oh, hang on. Can I? Yes, that's a nail, and I can grab it. There you go. Did I just hear something out the window? Just all over the place. I thought. Whoa! 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 Shit! Wait! 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 Camera! Oh god! Uh, I'm gonna go in here. Gonna go quick! 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 Oh, squeeze through! Squeeze through! View the okay, view the photo. Fuck it. I missed it. I just missed it. That bitch was tall. <laughs> Shit. Right. That was what Luca was talking about, though, right? It was the nail I needed. That's where it's gonna hang. Ah, no pun intended. Okay. Alright, well, let's try this again. Let's try the nail first. There it is. Oh, right. Perfect. Okay, and the frame. Right. Okay. So, uh... I don't know. What now? Take a photo of it, maybe? Oh, shit, yes. Oh, God, that was a good one. Uh, view the photo. Go on, then. It's oh, crap, what the hell? There you go. I'm seeing something that I shouldn't be seeing. This magical camera is pretty cool. Okay, yeah. Oh. Is that what you were pointing at, Grandad? <laughs> I guess. I thought you were pointing at me in the photo. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, we can have a look at the photos taken as well, can we? Oh, that's a nice feature. I'm wondering if this is going to be the study. Well, the key fits. All right. Well, uh, no! Not like that. You give me so much and then you take it all away. How mean. <laughs> right, well, there you go. That was the demo to Madison. I, I kind of knew it wasn't going to have a very satisfactory ending. I was expecting some abrupt cut-off like what we just got, but it still hurts, you know? Because I was really enjoying that. Uh, despite how short it was, I really enjoyed that. That was... Short, but oh so sweet, honestly. That was great. Very unnerving. Thoroughly unnerving. Um, the visuals were fantastic, but I think the sound actually might have been the highlight for me. I really like the sound effects, despite how good the visuals looked. So yeah, uh, I, I hope there's going to be more of this game, honestly. I want to continue the story. I want to continue the ritual. I want to know what else I take photographs of, really. And um, yeah, I just... I, I, I need more. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I hope to see you back in another video very soon. What about this door? Ah. Keep hearing random sound effects. And some nice plates as well. Always nice. Whoa. Probably not something I want to be dabbling with considering what I just read. But uh, yeah, sure, open it up. Why not? Uh, might be coming from over here. That's locked, thankfully. It's ah, god damn it! Somewhere over here, right? Ah, fuck! I thought. Whoa! 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 Shit! Wait! 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 Camera! Oh god! All right. Whoa! Uh... No!